from RecipeGirl.com, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make my wedding cupcake buttercream. It pipes beautifully onto cupcakes, and it's also a nice smooth frosting to use for regular layer cakes, too. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna put the butter into my stand mixer. You can use a regular mixer for this, but I, I tend to think it works a little bit better if you have a stand mixer. I like to use um, a good quality butter like Lando Lakes for this recipe because it tends to not be as yellow. They don't have added color in a really good quality butter and you'll get a whiter frosting out of it. So we're gonna use two sticks of butter and three cups of powdered sugar. So you're gonna add your paddle attachment to your stand mixer if you're using a stand mixer. Just click it on there and lock your stand mixer. I'm gonna put the guard on top of my stand mixer. The powdered sugar tends to puff up a little bit and I don't want it spraying all over the place. So turn it on medium. Once you've got it mixing, you can take the guard off because the powdered sugar is not gonna poof out anymore. Once you've got the powdered sugar and the butter nice and creamy and combined well, you're going to add a couple of tablespoons of cream. You can use regular whipping cream or you can use heavy whipping cream. That's gonna give it a really nice creamy texture. And then another secret I have to these cupcakes is using clear vanilla extract. That will make sure that your white cupcake buttercream is going to be as white as possible. And you can find it in a baking supply shop or in a craft store like Michael's. Just a little bit of a, about a teaspoon. Then we're gonna turn the mixer on again and get that all nice and combined. And there's our frosting. We're gonna go ahead and add it to the piping bag. I have a piping bag that has a Wilton 1M tip. This is a perfect tip for frosting cupcakes. And the best way to put the frosting in the bag is to just fold it back. So just take your rubber spatula and start filling the bag. Use a rubber spatula because that's gonna make sure that you get all the frosting that you want out of that bowl. So now we need to make sure that the frosting gets down to the tip, which is where we're gonna decorate. So just squeeze the top and twist it and just gently push the frosting down to the tip. You can see that it is starting to come out. So now we're ready to frost our cupcakes. And you just take your piping bag and you're gonna start from the outside and swirl it around and you have beautiful swirled frosted cupcakes. I'm gonna add some decorations to the tops of my cupcakes. These are candied pearls. Uh, they're edible, they're pretty, and they're perfect for a wedding. If you're not having a wedding and you're just making these for a birthday party, you can certainly add some sprinkles or you can leave them plain, you can color the frosting, whatever you'd like to do. So there you have it. There's your perfect wedding cupcake buttercream that is great for any special event. For this recipe and more, visit recipegirl.com.